Hey, what's up everybody? What's good? This is Joe with Mods of Excel. And today we are going to take a look at three, that's right, one, two, three, brand new bags by GGB focused on all you photography moms and dads out there. So what are these bags? How are they going to be used? Well, after the cut, we'll get right into it. So stay tuned. bags are focused for the moms and dads out there who are trying to find ways to carry the photography gear in the current bags that they love and use. And what is the big deal? Jujube released photography bags. Like, it's the same bag? Is it like the dapper? You know, ooh, a new style and all that? Like, well, yes, it's new, but it's not necessarily like the typical Jujube stuff you're used to. So, get that out of the way. If you are a photographer, are no photographer friends, or have even looked into photography, you know there are different types of bags in order to carry your gear. Well, why? Because your gear is expensive. Whether you get a low-end DSLR to a high-end prosumer, or even a full-on professional camera, you wanna make sure your equipment is packed and safe and kept nicely, especially when you're traveling, whether it's to a, shot, a gig, to go do some shots or you're just trying to travel from you know point a to point b whether it's on plane or in a car or by bicycle i don't know but so without further ado let's take a look at the pixel pod so here in my hand is the pixel pod as you can see it's a small bag very comparable to what you'd find in the ggb lineup of a passapod now there are some key differences between the two but before we go into that let's just take a look at the features of the pixel pod as you can see it has one full length zipper that goes all the way around from one end to the other and allows it to actually open up all the way so you can actually go full 360 degrees if you wished and the nice thing is it's actually labeled on the inside where the pacipod you would have bungee cords to hold pacifiers or some people used it for cables and such the pixel pod has two zippers that actually enclose um, memory cards or sd cards or micro sd cards for photographers and you actually see the organization where they actually label one side is full and one side is empty now what does that mean full and empty another feature is it doesn't have this typical ring as you would find in the pacipod it has a little hook on the side. So you can actually probably hook this to a lanyard, a carabiner, you know, to your another bag. Just clip it on the side and you're good to go. So you won't really feel, you really can't lose it. And it's small enough that it's pretty easy to put in any of the pockets in any of your bags, whether it is a Jujube or not, or an XY collection or not. I mean, you can put it in your pocket and you're good to go. And, you know, another thing, especially if you're still doing photography, versus I would say like um, videography. You can actually probably attach it to your strap of your DSLR. So that way it's always there with you. And it's not that bulky where it's gonna get in your way when you're shooting. And it's always there when you need it. And you can't, you're not gonna lose your DSLR. You're not like, come on, that's like, you know, from cheap, maybe 500 to, you know, six grand, depending on the type of camera you have. You ain't losing that, you ain't misplacing it. Just saying. So yeah. what are the key differences between a pixel pod and a passive pod? Well, for starters, the pixel pod actually, it has a bigger diameter or bigger circumference than the passive pod. Uh, I mean, you could really kind of see it, but you, where you really actually see the difference is, if I open it up, placing a passive pod in here actually fits in the pixel pod so there's a little more room in that in that regards however it's not roomier than a passive pod as far as volume wise and the biggest difference is look at the, the width or the depth of these bags like this is your oreo and this is your oreo thin maybe i could not like a chips ahoy nobody likes oreo thin why would you make oreo thins just saying i'll review them and tell you if i really like them but come on man Anyway, besides that. But that's one of the key differences between these two. And like I said, the straps, where a Passapod has this hook strap right here, 
the pixel pod has just a little hook on the side and a loop. So you can easily like attach this to your belt, like I said. Now that is the pixel pod. The B Snappy is the second of three brand new bags by GGB focused on the photographers. Now the B Snappy is the smaller version of the three bags that is supposed to help you assist with carrying additional gear from lenses, flashes, even your camera bodies. It features up to four compartments for any of your photography gear, such as lenses, flashes, camera bodies, battery grips, you name it, it could probably fit. Well, except for a huge telephoto lens, but it could mostly fit. One of the nice features about the B-Snappy is that it has two loops for D-rings. The D-rings don't come installed, but you can add them for yourself. And the nice part is, like I said, this could be a standalone bag with an addition to any kind of messenger strap, whether it's from the XY collection or the GGB collection, to easily make this a perfect quick bag to go for you photography enthusiasts. I myself typically run a Nikon D5500 with a prime lens and a super wide lens, and I find this bag is the perfect fit for when I'm on the go and you know just want to carry the very minimal basics. If you don't like the messenger strap, the bag itself comes with two fabric handles that can easily be carried like any other tote bag. This bag secures by a magnetic disc on each side of the top flap, and this is very common in the Be Prepared Jujube bags. You easily just pop it open on each side, and you can open up to your gear that you have on the inside. Depending on what kind of gear you're carrying, you may need to resize the compartments. As you can see, I removed one of the compartment dividers in order to have three compartments. And the nice thing about this is they're just a Velcro as any standard photography bag out there. You can easily just pull it apart and you know move it along the bag as you see fit. Now, you can find the Velcro in these bags and the sturdiness of the dividers is very strong and have a very good set of security based on from what I've had experience with other bags. A lot of cheaper brands, you find the dividers and the Velcro very flimsy, not that reliable, you know, not as, you know, stuck as you find in higher end bags. And I can tell you from my experience, GGB is really hitting that, what you'd find in those midline and top of the line as far as you know, construction, durability, than anything you know mid and low. I definitely would see it as a potential competitor in the photography game. Now, for those who want to carry a lot more gear than maybe a couple lenses in your body, GGB has the third bag of the three new bags, and that's to be focused. And that is by far the biggest bag of this lineup. The B Focus is quite bigger in comparison than the B Snappy. And this bag fits more in Jujubee's Super B lineup as well as a Starlet or a B Prepared. Just as the Snappy, you can add D rings to the B Focus or you can carry it as a tote. It also secures by two a disc on each side in order to open up the bag. The difference of the Focus versus the Snappy is the Focus can have up to seven compartments versus the Snappy's up to four. And the Focus is really for those who have bigger gear. So maybe you have a bigger body such as the D5 or uh, maybe an 85 or 850 uh, from the Nikon series. And you have a battery grip or you might have a bigger lens, bigger zoom lens, bigger prime lens, whatever the case is, the focus is gonna be more in line for you. Not only does it have the removable inserts, just as with many other photography bags, the middle insert has the material where it's still sewn together but it's flexible, so you can really reshape the compartments that you have. Some people prefer to use the dividers to flex them so they fit around lenses tightly versus some who like it very straight so you can put your flashes in there to each their own. But the nice thing is the focus as well as the snappy give you a range of motion and control and how you want that bag to be set up. So as you can see in the B focus where in the snappy I can only carry my body and two lenses in 
needs uh, focus, I can actually carry almost everything I need as far as you know, four, five basic lenses, the body, batteries, my flash, good to go. I can throw a GoPro in there, a remote, whatever the case is. And I have almost my full setup, whether it's, you know, for something small or minor. You could easily fit two different bodies. If you, you know, some photographers like to run it with a backup, uh, just in case I run maybe two or three, just so they don't have to worry about switching lenses. It can fit in that, but then you start sacrificing room for other accessories. But if you're a good packer, you can figure out how to carry your accessories as well as this bag. And with the combination of the two, you're pretty solid. Some of you are probably wondering, Joe, tell me, is this bag really secure? Can those magnets actually hold my gear? What happens if it falls? Is it going to empty and spill all over? Well, let's take a durability test. I have over three pounds of my old CD collection. Then I'm going to show you just how durable the lid and secure it is and if it falls. So let's take a look. Now, let's test it. Grab it by the, the D-ring handles. That's not good. <laughs> I'm gonna grab it by the handles this time and see how it holds up. So here we go. So, ready? It was my CD collection. So, is your stuff secure in this bag? If you're gonna use it on its own? Honestly, I love the company, but probably not. I think that a good change up if they do make these bags again would really be to um, actually install zippers or something a little bit more secure than just the magnets themselves. Now, I can tell you, chances are if you are buying these or looking to buy these, you're not gonna use them by themselves. If you are, I really would recommend maybe not putting them in another bag and I think you'd be fine. I myself would typically use this with my clone or if I might use it with a BFF and in there, not a problem. So let's take a test of this in a, B a clone and see how that same test survives. All right, so I got my three pounds of CDs in here. I'm actually putting them in my clone right now. I'm not gonna put anything else in my clone. Now, and it's sealed. So you can see in here, it's sealed. Now, if you're a parent and you're taking your photo gear on top of, you know, baby clothes and stuff like that, you got extra cushion. But let's say you're just taking the B snappy and the clone itself. So let's take this test. Oh man, TSA. That's a lens cap, don't worry folks. All right. Still good. So, Would I use this bag as a standalone? Probably not. Now, I'm not gonna typically throw my bag with all my gear, but as you can see in that first test, it didn't hold up well. And I would think that in a second generation, I would highly recommend, hopefully to the company, um, that they use either a zipper or some kind of other enclosure. I do like the idea of the top and the bag because the way they made it, you could actually use the bag in two different ways. You could have it open so it's always open, but for a photographer or a professional videographer, whatever the case is, I think having this bag being able to seal securely would outweigh functionality as far as you know putting in a bag whatever the case is like leave it open um, I would also say that perhaps either that or some kind of more snap buckle or some kind of better lock mechanism I would even recommend maybe the hatch hooks over these magnets because the hatch has magnets as well, but they also have an interlocking, they have a locking mechanism between the hardware itself versus this, it's just fabric on fabric with the magnets. So I would personally recommend if you're going to purchase these, 
making sure you're using it with another bag if you already have it. If you don't already have it, you, I would still use it, honestly, but again, I'd most likely be transporting it for, you know, local stuff. I would not take, I would do it more carry-on. I would not put this in my luggage. Just saying, unless you're gonna stuff with other other things, but, you know, because for the rather inside, the material is thick enough, it's gonna be very secure, but I wanna make sure I'm handling it. I don't trust those TSA guys. So I have used other bags before, and I can show you this is some cheapy Amazon bag I bought for like 40 bucks. And I can tell you that just material wise, this is the interior and it's a little customizable in a sense, but this thing is like cheap as hell versus the ones from GGB are much more rigid, much more durable, more harder construction, which you would find in any professional bag. I've had Manfrotto bags before um, and for as expensive as those can be, this is honestly relatively the same kind of quality and build you would find in those kind of dividers. So I think GGB had gets props, major props for this and having these bags at a pretty decentable price range. They're, for what you get, you know, this cheapy bag, which I could carry my gear in, was like 40 bucks. I, or actually, sorry, it was like typically 50 bucks. But for 60 bucks, I get better quality and I can still carry all my gear. Honestly, it's a win. I think it'd be great to see a design in the future similar to maybe a, something that would fit in the backpack well versus what the snappy can do something that would fit in like right back in line but i think it's a great start a lot of the people out there are using other bags such as the clone or the be prepared and they want to use it for different things now again i speak for a photographer other people will tell you there are multiple different ways to use these bags just for organization in your bags as a parent do it it is by far the best purchase. It fits perfectly in these bags. The B Snappy fits amazing in a B light. And I can show you here. Put some B roll in here. Three, two. Three, two. The B Snappy is a perfect organizational tool for a B light. It gives it full structure. You don't ever worry about it. It's plus, it gives it good security as far as you know thickness for if you're dropping your bag anywhere. I don't know who would drop a bag, but you know, if you do drop it, it's going to really have a good cushion or padding for any fragile items you might have on the bottom. So if you're looking for this, not for photography, but for organizational, these are definite musts. As a photographer, would I buy these? Yeah. Would I buy these again? I definitely would. I can tell you these bags weren't given to me. I actually went out there and the day of the pre-trunk release, I had to search five different stores to find a local store that had it in stock so I could start reviewing it and playing with it rather than ordering it online and getting it shipped. Like I actually spent my own hard-earned money on this and I would buy it again. I actually really do like the construction. I really do like the fit. I really look, do love the concept. I do have recommendations though, such as like I said, the zipper. That's the biggest thing, if, especially if you want to use these bags by themselves. You fix that and maybe have a more cushioned top, then you don't need any other bag. But as it is right now, and I do have other bags, as you can see right here, it is a dream and it works perfectly well. Now, hopefully you guys have liked this. If you have more questions or comments, please leave it below. I definitely want to try this out and I'll do different other vi additional videos. I'm also to also do picture comparisons. I can always post some of my stories on Instagram or on my Facebook whichever social media outlet you want to use. You can just find me at Matsu Excel. But hopefully you enjoy this and this answers some of your questions that you guys were really wondering, Is the, are these bags right for you? And that's a wrap everybody. That's my personal take, my own opinion about GGB's three newest bags. I definitely love them, definitely would buy again. I would really hope that next gen comes out with a little more tweaks to the design, but as far as a first design, I really think they're top notch. Hopefully you guys like this and hopefully this answered a lot of your questions. Now, if you want to see more of these videos and you like what I do, make sure you hit that subscribe button, give this a thumbs up or a like, whatever the new button is these days. Leave a comment below if you wish, I'm more than glad to get back to you, send me a message, you 
Also follow me on MatsuXL on Instagram. It's M-A-T-S-U-X-L. Same name as above there. Hopefully you guys like this. You want to see more? Let me know. Otherwise, this is Joe with MatsuXL, and I'll be catching you guys later. Peace.